Hi, this is a brief introduction to QR Hunt, um, an online tool that allows you to associate uh, URLs with QR codes and to put some um, digital logic behind it, uh, things like exclusive choices and uh, dependencies and things like that. And you can use it to build games uh, if you wish, games like uh, your traditional treasure hunt game where um, one note leads to another note leads to another note. Uh, you could design an interactive fiction game uh, with a similar thing. You could, um, But the idea of the game is to try to, to bring together the world of the computer, all the digital logic of the world, computer, with the sort of fun that you can have with your mobile phone and just your typical free QR scanner. So, uh, unfortunately, it is hard to screencast that, but what I am going to show you is how you would go associate uh, URLs um, with QR codes and how you would set the logic up to go between those. So, uh, the first thing you would do is go to qrtaskboy.com. Um, you would log in with Twitter, so I would recommend you do that. Um, this will do the typical Twitter authorization dance. Um, this will log you back in and you're ready to go. So there's no there's no account set up. Uh, I just figured it'd be better for people just to, to get going with what they want to do. Now, I already have four games um, uh, set up here. Um, but let me just show you, if you had no games, you would start by creating a new game. We might call this My Great game and maybe your typing is better than mine um, a couple of options you're allowed here is a start date and an end date for the game so if you specify a start date um, no no um, no connections are going to be accepted that game no logging will start with that game until that uh, date appears uh, and end date is exactly what you would think it is is no connections will be accepted after that date so you know if you're if you're if you're trying to run um, some sort of, for instance, an advertising campaign, you'd have some sort of uh, limits on. You know, you'd, you'd understand what you're logging. So, uh, go ahead and hit save. And if there's any luck, that will refresh the screen. Ah, good, my great game. So, if you press my great game, you'll get uh, kind of two sections. There's there's some meta information about the game, which is start date and end date. Uh, particularly are shown there and we could edit those uh, things if you want to go back and change the name or st have a start date and end date later on you could simply choose the uh, the edit button there uh, for the meta information and then steps so every every game has a series of steps and one step uh, is associated with some URL a URL that you host or somebody hosts it's publicly accessible on the web somewhere so uh, QR doesn't QR Hunt doesn't host anything. It's just there for you to kind of um, pull together disparate images on the web. So uh, you know Google Image uh, Hunt or Creative Common um, Image Search things like that really uh, pay dividends here. So let's go ahead and add a step. So the the first step um, for my link. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't have a good first step other than say Google because it's short to type you're probably gonna uh, well let me put the title in for this this will be my first oh boy I'm not good at typing my first step and it'll go to Google because when I start my computer frankly uh, and I start my internet browser I'm always going to Google first um, there's a sequence number for your steps now the sequence number really helps you organize the um, your steps just like the title is really there for you um, you'll sort of see where sequences sequence numbers come in later um, I, I recommend just a series of in, increasingly positive integers um, so uh, that, that may be that may be there oh so uh, the next thing is an error URL uh, for now I'm gonna skip over that that comes into play a little later uh, access control. So this is where we can actually start adding digital logic to our uh, to our 
game as we wish. But for now, let's just start with a basic. I want to point somewhere. You know what? Maybe I'll make this a little bit, a little bit more self-referential, and I'll go. Let's go to my homepage, Task Boy. All right. So we'll save the changes. Boom. That's terrific. So now we have a step. Well, that's not very exciting, um, but at this point we could actually hit the download button and we could go get the zip file that contains the, um, let's see if that will actually open up here. There we go. Uh, my great game. And that just contains one image in it and that image is my QR code that will uh, take us to um, it'll take us to uh, taskboy.com. Now, in and of itself, one one link like that is not terribly exciting. Um, you might add a second link. Maybe I shall do that. So um, the next link I will add is to my friend Jason McIntosh's Game Shelf website, which is a fine... Uh, uh, fine game oriented um, game news oriented website and punditry I would say sort of punditry and once again I put the URL in the title field because just because I built it doesn't mean I know how it works so um, this is an awesome link I'll just put game shelf so I know uh, sequence numbers two and we'll just save those save those changes too excellent uh, again um, just just for showing off. Uh, if we download that now, you'll see there's, oops, you'll see, hopefully, that uh, there's a folder with two two um, uh, PNG files in there that are our QR codes. Now these are suitable for embedding in, do in other documents, uh, as, as perhaps I'll show in a later tutorial. Now, now that we have two links, we could probably, it's probably start time, is, probably time to start thinking about maybe maybe we want to make this an exclusive choice so you can pick either so maybe you you have a you would maybe print out some sort of document you'd put the two QR codes on those and you'd ask the user to pick between the two so in, in that kind of scenario we'd want to create a new uh, exclusive choice group we'll call it we'll call it my group save changes so um, Right now, there's there's uh, my group has uh, exactly one choice in it, which is uh, sort of no no choice at all, is it? Um, so I'm going in to edit the second uh, the second uh, link here, and I'm going to add my group there. Save changes. So there we go. So now, if you uh, again, you can use the same QR code. The QR codes haven't changed. It's the QR codes come back to qr.taskboy.com to do the logic, but um, if you take the uh, the zip file that we that we undid there, and you were to do something like uh, to uh, uh, to either scan this image or this image, you'd only be able to scan. Well, you could scan both, but you're only going to be redirected to one of the URLs, and if you've picked one, when you scan the other, you're going to get an error page. And there's a there's a fairly default error page that says something like uh, you've you've made your exclusive choice. But you might want to make things a little bit more um, oh, classy, as they say. So I allow uh, you to specify your own error URL so that when a dependency fails or an exclusive check fails, we send people to the URL that you specify. Um, and that's that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, this is this is a sort of a brief uh, example of how to do well, how to do uh, set up a game. Uh, I think in my next one I'll, I'll work on dependencies. Dependencies uh, can be a little trickier, so um, but this is a pretty pretty good introduction. Uh, thank you.